Aquarius, this is your soul journey reading. Feel free to like, share, follow across all social media platforms, website link below in the description. Check out my website to see all available spreads. Tarot readings start at 2.22 a minute for freestyle reads and all the other spreads have different uh, prices. So, spread of love and light, highest possible messages for Aquarius. Hope you guys are doing good. This reading is a ten intended for um, just next, you know, highest, best possible steps and messages and, you know, uh, navigating uh, your journey in life and, um, you know, what's the, the sole lesson in this particular cycle that we're having to learn, that, we're, that we might not be seen or recognizing, um, things like that. <clears throat> Okay, we got a moral victory at hand. Apologies for the lighting, by the way. I'm not satisfied with this lighting, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, I'm using two different decks, traditional tarot and then the tattoo tarot by Lana Zellner. Okay, disaster averted and a moral victory here. So you probably could have taken the high road in regards to a situation, Aquarius. Um, or you're being advised, plain and simple, to take the high road. Um, I usually try to make these readings um, over a minute, less than, or, or actually maybe even over 15 minutes, I should say. Um, but this message seems quite cut and clear in regards to taking the high road so as to avoid disaster. Um, whatever this instance is, or this moment of you taking the high road, um, it's going to trigger something so as to be able to avoid total disaster. So even if it's biting your tongue or, you know, uh, not taking the low road or playing unfair, when I think of Aquarius, I think of that five, six, seven of swords ability, five of swords being like cutthroat when at all costs energy, six of swords, trying to move on to a better place and seven of swords, um, kind of being sneaky, a little bit of gossip and hearsay, but I feel like with this tower card in reverse, this is Pluto energy, Mars Scorpio energy, we're in Scorpio season. This season is going to present you an opportunity to zig when you should have zagged. And if you do make the right, correct choice in this moment's notice, then uh, you should be able to come away with the moral victory is how I'm reading the Six of Wands in the reverse here. Six of Wands in the upright is a victory. In the reverse, I kind of read it as an internalization. It can also be kind of saving off like some sort of addiction or codependency as well. Um, you know, maybe like not relapsing or not going back to an ex or something of this nature. Um, and instead moving forward full steam ahead with the three of wands for bigger, better new horizons, not steeping to someone's level. Okay, if that makes any sense. There could be a lack of victory or clarity here, meaning the short temptation is going to be very strong. And there's going to be a very strong inclination to succumb to the desire to be petty with this five of wands, succumb to anxiety and fears, as, that, as, as that's what this Scorpio season is kind of indicating and revealing to, to us. It could be a matter of sticking to your guns. When it comes to a work scenario or the craft and quality work that you're putting out here, you could be starting a new business, it could be shaky, you could not have as much confidence as maybe you thought when things were um, just in the beginning phases, but this number eight still indicates a new beginning. So it could be a new job, okay? So we're talking like self-sabotage energy, the possibility, because this three of wands wants to come out again, but this time in this deck, the traditional, I believe it's Rider Weight Tarot, there, there might be an instance or a moment um, for self-sabotage, but instead, try to take a beat, try to take a second, try to take a pause and a timeout, and um, know that this is the best and highest possible road for you. Um, three of cups in reverse, three of wands in reverse, to me, might indicate coming out of a third party situation and or not reverting to associating with the same peers anymore, maybe at the workplace or choosing to distance yourself so as to avoid sabotage, as opposed to being in the mix and in the conflict where you're more likely to be triggered. <clears throat> again, the Ace of Swords wants to come out again, 
indicating confusion, indicating murkiness, cloudiness, not necessarily knowing which, which is which. And that's also verified with this page of wands in the reverse. Excuse me as I shut this light off. Appreciate your patience, Aquarius. Point being is um, the Page of Wands kind of in for me is my maps and navigation card, uh, which which is which, not really truly understanding or knowing where your direction is, but you're gonna really have to tap in intuitively, and um, you know kind of unbeknownst to um, your traditional way of moving through reality and this moral victory internally, because I'm kind of getting that. It might expand and it might kind of be a long duration, a long kind of momentous building like a fire, you know, broiling, um, that it's going to have a ripple effect. It's going to have a chain reaction effect here for you, Aquarius. And that internal victory, the Six of Wands in the reverse that originally came out in the other deck, is going to emerge over time. The truth will reveal itself and you then will have that moment in the sun, that victory card. You will then be able to release and open your arms to what you may have been holding close to your vest it, so so with that being said this could also be some source of information that you have that you're choosing to hold closely tightly to the vest and not to share with anybody um it could be in regards to a missed opportunity um it could be in regards to a project that you're keeping under wraps until it's more kind of set in stone um Whatever it is, you're going to be able to trust your guiding uh, instincts in regards to happiness to be your kind of compass um, in regards to whatever the situation in regards to whatever the situation is. This page of Pentacles might be a little bit of a light-hearted offer, but it might just be enough for you to yep kickstart this huge legacy, this huge tradition, this huge. Um, a cornerstone that you could really hang your hat on and really build upon over time. This is the card of legacy. This is enthusiasm, youthful exuberance, uh, new creative beginnings, new creative emotional bonds. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is in regards to legacy, family, 401k, health, benefits, um, cornerstones. Um, all that you want to build upon really truly. Okay, you could be coming out of a tradition and laboring to build your own tradition with this Empress in reverse. So yeah, it could be a new business. It could be freeing yourself from this kind of breadcrumbing, lack of reciprocity instance that I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles. More enthusiastic energy coming out of a decision-making process between two worlds, between two minds. King of Wands in the upright, ability to affect great change, um, emotional solace for the self-drinking of the cup of self-love and happiness first and foremost, your priorities, like I said, your happiness is going to be your kind of guidestone, your compass as to how to move about this situation, which inevitably is going to lead to this Nine of Pentacles, this Virgo energy, this um, kind of uh, independent financially financially free type energy is what's going on here. So I'm getting a lot of pentacle energy. I'm getting a lot of uh, kind of going rogue, really. Um, feeding and watering the seed of kind of your own inner um, drive mechanisms and ambitions and yes it's going to be something that you're going to have to labor with with that empress in reverse but you're going to be marking your own tradition coming out of this old tradition with the hair font in reverse and carving your new legacy something to hang your hat upon okay confidently um that's what i'm getting aquarius it's going to require work with the star card in reverse but it's going to be well worth it Okay. This is asking you, this read is asking you to balance your caring and giving instincts and your kind of selfless urges and instincts, and it's asking you to reinvest that in yourself for the long duration of uh, whatever this new onset of a 
possibly new beginning is. And um, staying open to this new beginning, this new opportunity. Like I said, a possible new business, work situation. And uh, yeah, let's try to get one more uh, recap highest possible yeah they got the sun card right here this is good vibes incoming communication with the eight of wands here quick victory again uh you know the spirit of the the, the very first draw of this read was uh you know a, a moment's notice zigging and you know instead of zagging and this ripple effect this excuse me domino effect that's really gonna uh, be a life-changing decision and I'm getting kind of like a pulling of the trigger type energy so um, I'm being advised to tell you to move forward with all the confidence in the world Aquarius and uh, to trust whatever urges or inclinations that you have and use your happiness as a, as a touchstone and a guiding stone and that ten of pentacles wants to come out again it's a shoe in it's surefire, and it's going to be something to really, uh, you know, build upon and uh, have, uh, you know, maturation take hold. So that's what I got for you as far as the next steps. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Feel free to like, share, follow across all social media platforms. Website link below. And holler at your boy for a one-on-one -on -one reading. Would love to illuminate your personal situation for you and work with you on your spiritual path and journey. Again, this is a general reading, so it's not going to fully, 100% completely resonate. But if it does, feel free to hit that subscribe and thumbs up button and leave a comment. Uh, I love the interaction, and I love uh, hearing some feedback uh, from you all out there in TV land. Uh, this is PDV at Running on Tarot, and holler at your boy. Peace.